a 22-year college student came to the emergency department due to severe vomiting after ingesting a few tablets of paracetamol. How would you treat an overdose of acetaminophen? Option A. Use forced alkaline diuresis. B. Administer an acetylcysteine. C. Administer an osmotic diuretic. D. Both A and B. Acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, is mainly used to treat pain and fever. Acetaminophen is metabolized by the hepatocytes in the liver. Hepatocytes mainly metabolize acetaminophen by glucuronidation and sulfation to non-toxic metabolites, which are then excreted in the urine. But, a small amount of acetaminophen is also metabolized by cytochrome P450 enzymes to a highly toxic metabolite, N-acetylpbenzoquinone-imine or NAPKI. Normally, this toxic metabolite is inactivated by an antioxidant called glutathione, so in therapeutic doses, acetaminophen doesn't cause severe side effects. But, if someone takes too much acetaminophen, the hepatocytes can't break it all down, so more acetaminophen undergoes CYP450 metabolism, which creates more NAPKI. Now, because there's a limited amount of glutathione in hepatocytes, high levels of NAPKI will deplete them, leading to a buildup of NAPKI. This toxic metabolite will start causing cell death and acute hepatic necrosis. It's important to note that it could even occur with therapeutic doses in individuals with low glutathione stores, such as infants, elderly, individuals with malnutrition, or with a genetic condition called glutathione synthesis deficiency. On the other hand, chronic use of alcohol, or some medications like barbiturates, phenytoin, and carbamazepine, can enhance the activity of CYP450, so more NAPKI is produced. Early symptoms of toxicity are nonspecific and they include nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain, but, as the liver injury progresses, symptoms worsen and individuals may have jaundice, coagulopathy, hepatic encephalopathy, and acute renal failure. Treatment consists of administration of N-acetylcysteine which replenishes glutathione and prevents its depletion. Therefore the answer is option B. If you find this video helpful, share it with others who may find it helpful too. Subscribe Medbook for more videos like this and thanks for watching.